My name is Denise Harnoy, and I'm one of the hepatologists at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. That means I treat patients with liver disease. For some, it may just have been that they've been told by their doctor that their liver tests look abnormal on laboratory studies that were done. For others, it's been told that they have excessive fat accumulation in the liver or fatty liver disease. For some, they've been told they have a virus like hepatitis B or C. For others, it means that they've been told that they have a mass in their liver and they're scared that they might have a liver cancer. And for some, it means that they've been told that their liver is failing and that they need to consider a liver transplant. There are millions of individuals in the United States who have been infected with the hepatitis C virus. While new cases have actually been declining since the early 1990s, many of the people who have now had the disease for several decades are suffering from the consequences, the long-term consequences, of having the disease. For some, this means that they've developed liver failure. For other, it means that they've developed liver cancer. Patients with viral hepatitis, and specifically hepatitis C, are at increased risk for developing cancers of the liver. These cancers are often diagnosed at an earlier stage of disease. It is therefore very important for patients with hepatitis C to undergo regular screening for hepatocellular cancer.